crypto industry unlikely to back Kamala Harris over VP tenure in action. Exec says, Kamala Harris U.S. Elections Matterfy CEO called out Harris's recent crypto engagement as a Me Too move following RFK Jr. and Donald Trump. Last updated August 30th, 2024 at 917 GMT3. Crypto reporter Shalini Nagarajan. Crypto reporter Shalini Nagarajan about author Shalini is a crypto reporter who provides in-depth reports on daily developments and regulatory shifts in the cryptocurrency sector. Author profile share. Copied last updated August 30th, 2024 at 917 GMT3. Why trust crypto news with over a decade of crypto coverage? Crypto news delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make crypto news a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about crypto news. Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris is not likely to garner significant support from the crypto industry, primarily due to her perceived lack of interaction with the community during her time as vice president, said Matterfy CEO Mikhail Mihal Pospisalski. Harris has not publicly disclosed her position on digital assets. Still, she has committed to representing the views of all Americans should she be elected president. Pospisalski further mentioned that Billionaire Mark Cuban's endorsement for Kamala Harris doesn't necessarily signal robust support for cryptocurrency within her campaign. Cuban recently participated in a town hall organized through the newly formed Crypto for Harris Group, which advocates for Harris's campaign. Matterfy CEO labels Kamala Harris's crypto support a Me Too move. In a July interview with Politico, Cuban said that Harris might show more support for the blockchain sector compared to her predecessor. I am unaware of any prominent figures in the crypto community who view Mark Cuban as an advocate for their interests, Pospisalski told Crypto News. Harris's recent engagement feels like a Me Too effort following RFK Jr. and Trump. Meanwhile, Mark Cuban seems to endorse whatever is left standing. Not long ago, he supported Joe Biden, even though many have since distanced themselves from Biden after the primaries. And that endorsement seemed questionable even for Cuban, he added. Harris campaign promises crypto growth, but some remain doubtful. Meanwhile, a senior campaign advisor has stated that Harris will back initiatives intended to grow the crypto sector. Her advisor, Brian Nelson, said that she's going to support policies that ensure that emerging technologies and that sort of industry can continue to grow. But Pospisalski stated that merely referencing crypto doesn't persuade anyone that Harris understands the industry nor does it mean she is capable of effectively regulating it, he said. The Harris campaign seems unprepared, despite having had four years to anticipate the possibility of Joe Biden's resignation. If they wanted to genuinely support cryptocurrency, they had an entire vice presidency to do so, he said. According to the exec, the Harris campaign's recent actions seem more like an effort to say what's needed to win votes, rather than genuinely engaging with the crypto community. Follow us on Google News.